I have learned to I have learned that to be successful, there has to be a reason why you get out of bed in the morning. For students, it might be grades or parents, and for workers, it might be either their jobs with a salary in mind. Can you please tell me what gets you out of bed, how you develop it, and how can I do the same? I ask because I have some money and a good job, but I have lost the passion to work, which makes getting up in the morning difficult, and I have made my moral and energy to drop. How do I overcome this and find something that will keep me going for life? You have got to live for something greater than your own life. Right. You must find a purpose that is greater in extent than your own life. So what could be greater than your own life? First of all, eternity mm -hmm. is greater than your own life. So you must l find a purpose that will have its definition in eternity. That is, you must be able to be begin to say, okay, I want to live for something that will be recorded in heaven. So I'm living for heaven right now. I want to impress heaven. I want to impress God. So what can you do to impress God? That's number one. Number two, another way is that you could hear God or listen to God or hear the heartbeat of God or ask your heart to, and to find out what is it that heaven wants you to do so that that is initiated from heaven. To hear the leading that God is telling you that, okay, go to the homeless children or go to politics or go to finances or go to this and that. You know, let something be impressed on your heart. If you don't know how to find that, how to discover your calling, because you are called for something, you are created for something, you are sent here for something. That is the assignment that everyone has given to you. It is in you. It is in your heart. It is packaged in you. You are custom made for that thing, but you need to discover it. And to discover it, you know, I have some teachings that I did that helps people to discover. And I have a book that I've written in that sense as well. But, so that is one way. So, but just to give general uh, definition, how to have something to live for. You must be able to live for something that transcends life. And the only thing that transcends life is eternity, something that will live forever. So that is the best thing to live for. So you are living for something beyond you. So even when you die, you are still pursuing that thing. You are still going there. That is number one. The, and the, one, the way I will put that is something to impress God, something that will make God proud, something that will make God happy. You put that as your goal. Number two, what are the, uh, the, the uh, following my description that you've got to live for something greater than you? Eternity is greater than you, but apart from eternity, another thing that is greater than you is the life of millions. So if your own life, sometimes we might value our own life as more valuable than the life of maybe 1,000 people or 100 people. But it might not be more valuable than the life of 100 million people or 50 million people. Okay, put your life as a target to save a number of lives that you think your life will be worth. So if I give my life in exchange for how many people would like to exchange my life, it's my life will be worth dying for. So if I want to sacrifice this life now, for how many people would like to sacrifice it? Okay, you could say, okay, my life, I would like to sacrifice it for at least 10 million people. If I get 10 million people, eh, okay, it means it's worth it. My death is worth it. Then that's begin to plan your life out to live in a way that every day you are, sp you are spending your life on daily basis so that that life you are spending on daily basis will be to reach and touch and, you know, and change the life of 10 million people. That will be your target. That, okay, you are targeting 10 million. You are giving your life on daily basis. You are waking up on daily basis, using it, spending every day of your life. is going, it's going. But on towards the goal of meeting and saving 10 million people. That is also something that is greater than your life. So those kind of uh, goals, they are worthwhile goals that would eventually reward you eternally and that will always make you to wake up because you, you can never achieve them you know, the next day or before you die. So you have to keep on pursuing it and really work for it every day of your life. That is when you have that passion. If you really want to attain that goal, you have to keep on waking up in the morning.